noticed some people uh, on Facebook, they were saying how um, most of their um, entertainment shows were canceled because of COVID. So I said, well, you know, we got fresh air at the farm and they might as well come on out. So I sent him a message and I sent him some pictures and he really liked what he saw. My name is Keith Matthews. My name is Wednesday Darling, but also Shelby. Uh, my name is Amanda Espinoza. My name is Kylie. I've been participating in Hair Wars since uh, 1992. I heard about Hair Wars through Carla on Facebook and I applied and I actually got chosen as model. He reached out to me on a uh, networking site for photographers and models and was like, hey, do you want to come down and, uh, and work in my studio? This is what I do. And I saw the pictures and I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, that's different. I've never seen anything like that before. I heard about Hair Wars through Riverside Farms. Um, I heard about Hair Wars through Riverside Farms and Carla. She was so graciously enough to message me and be like, you should comment on this and see if you get picked as one of the models. And I was like, okay, why not? And here I am. This piece was a um, piece for a car wig. It was a car wig that I made for a Hair Wars hair show. Uh, about cars, but the COVID canceled that, so these are pieces that I, I had already made. I have never done fantasy hair or wear wigs, so this is a really cool experience. Most of the pieces I create is for some type of theme for the hair show. I've never worn fantasy hair for a photo shoot. It feels fantastic, just a little heavy, but it's been really fun. It is really cool. Can't really see in a little heavy, but it's pretty awesome. Okay. No, I have it and I'm so excited to put mine on. You have no idea. Oh, it's very heavy, but it's not as uh, very uncomfortable, but it's a lot different than I'm trying to keep myself balanced. <laughs> this is uh, not my normal genre. I normally work with uh, painters and stuff like that. So um, doing this kind of you know crazy hairpiece stuff is, has been a new experience for me. Uh, this is the only one on location. Usually we're working in his studio doing crazy uh, backdrops and hair pieces and stuff like that. But he invited me out here. He's like, look, I know you got this armor. I really want to do some cool some cool shots out in the woods and in the barn here. And I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. Man. Uh, the saxophone piece I brought was for a, a musical tribute for the hair show. And the rest of them are basically for a car theme. I always liked it fantasy hair, uh, even back in beauty school. Um, I got into fantasy wigs so my models could dance with fantasy on. It's hard to dance if it's not a wig. So I started making them into wigs and I could also add extra stuff to it. If you give me a theme, I can come along. I usually come up with something that's, that's uh, similar to what, what the theme is. And the themes was cars. And um, so all the pieces that I have today besides the saxophone is car related wigs. I get in other types of shows also, but basically uh, I like to create. I like to create uh, stuff that people don't necessarily see or don't see at all. I just, I just like to create stuff. I've always been, uh, always been like that, even in beauty school. I've, I've done some side things and got money for my wigs for doing different things with my wigs. Uh, I also go to a lot of different uh, places with Hump. Uh, we've been to different cities doing shows and what have you, which is which I really like to do. And I always wanted to be a fantasy stylist to a certain extent uh, because it's, it's something that everybody can't do. And actually now, uh, as time go on, a lot of the younger people don't really want to do it. Uh, they think it's too time consuming. And uh, it's really just a, it's a form of art, you know, and if you are, if you are artists or if you feel like you're an artist to some extent, uh, Hair Wars is some, with the hair, Hair Wars is somewhere you should get involved. I would actually love to be a model for the Hair Wars. <laughs> yes, 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 please. Runway is the number one thing that I've been wanting to do for the longest time between that and my ultimate goal is to be in Vogue. So that's my two, I guess, goals, you could say. I prepare for a photo shoot by driving here, listening to music, dancing, and eating snacks. Um, it depends on the photo shoot. So usually I'll stretch the morning before or a couple hours before, then I'll eat something and then load the car and go. Usually I have a lot of music in my head and I'm just kind of singing along while I'm doing the photo shoot. 
basically like how I'm posed, um, which photographer is shooting me at that time, because there could be four to five in the room while you're shooting. Um, just kind of like just self-awareness, making sure my body's posed right, my outfit's good, but we have so many good people around here to help you out with that. Going through my mind is just the environment, trying to get myself focused and posing, trying to work with a photographer one-on-one. -on -one. Portfolios are a live document, so basically you're just con continuously building them until you just don't want to model anymore. So I have a pretty decent portfolio now, but I would be looking into just expanding it, doing more new things, just new experiences. Uh, I would want to do in my full armor again, but I also have a really cool cloak and I would love to do just like some awesome shots out in the woods, in the snow in the full gear. I think that would be amazing. Uh, there's a lot actually. I want to start opening to more different concepts and working with different photographers. For model portfolio, the things I need to add is maybe formal wear. <laughs> From the photo shoots, I, uh, I share my photos to my friends and family. It depends on the images, but usually I'll post them on Instagram, Facebook, my modeling page, you know, just to get my name out there and hopefully get more publicity and be able to shoot with more photographers. But the images I receive from the photographers, I give them credit and I also just post them and hopefully they will give me some more jobs throughout the future and also work with more people. I love the countryside. The owners are fantastic and they always bring great people together. Just so pretty. I was born in the country so it just reminds me of back home and all of just the land and calm and serenity, it's just therapeutic. I just like Riverside just because of the environment and just be able to be, you know, it's comfortable and Carl is really cool to work with and there's so many different options that you can use. I love the owner and everyone who comes, I've been able to work with at Riverside Farms. I think honestly the networking. I've met so many people that mean so much to me now and they're other models so it's very easy to just go to one of them and be like, I need help or can you help me pose? It's not as nasty as the media makes it seem. I have a couple different things. I have an Instagram. My modeling Instagram is Kylie Marie Model. I'm sure they'll spell it out for you. Um, and my Facebook is Kylie Bouts, or I have a modeling page, Kylie Marie, on Facebook. You can email me to get in contact with me. It's A as in apple, E as in elephant, S as in snake, P as in pineapple, I as in igloo, N as in no, O as in orangutan, Z as in zebra, A as in apple189 at gmail.com. I go by Instagram and Facebook by Wednesday Darling Modeling or Shelby. So, um, I fight in a sport called HEMA, it stands for Historical European Martial Arts. Um, it's a revival of the uh, swordsmanship practices that were done in Europe before the advent of the firearm. You used to be able to go to school to learn how to use a sword. And then, you know, in modern times, all that just sort of died off and it was forgotten. And, you know, this organization decided to dig up all those old manuscripts and start to teach, you know, swordsmanship the way that it that it used to be taught. So, um, this is uh, armor that I wear sometimes when I'm fighting. Um, I actually made quite a few pieces of it. The uh, leg pieces, these uh, bracers, and the chainmail. Because you can buy armor, but it's not going to be fit to your body properly. Like this, I bought, and it doesn't work that well. It's not fit to my body. So I decided um, to have it function better and also to have a little bit more of a connection to it. I decided that I wanted to make some of it myself. Now he's, he's great to work with. He's such a chill guy. Laid back kind of dude. He's just like a very um, Hakuna Matata kind of guy. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I think that some photographers can be high strung. I've definitely worked with high strung photographers before and he's a breath of fresh air in that department. Well, Hump is a businessman uh, and everybody know if you deal with hair wars, 605 is the time. Uh, I have even been out of town before in Ohio and was late <laughs> and uh, I basically didn't go on either, which I understood, but um, I deal with Hump because he take care of business, uh, he will promote you, 
if you know if your stuff is right and um, I'm a businessman he's a businessman so that's basically why I deal with him Welcome to Riverside Farms. I'm Carla Fitzpatrick. Well, I grew up in a studio in St. Clair, Michigan here, so it seemed like the thing to do. We had these beautiful back settings, and I uh, gathered some props that I thought everybody would have fun with, and, and we went with it. We started this in September. It's taken quite off. This is all due to the great one and only David Humphreys. Hump the Grinder, this is his gig. He loves to do the hair wars, so here we are. Hair Wars at the farm. Look at this. This is like, we rocked this farm. This is awesome. Mom's got it going on. He brought all the crew. We got all these fancy hairdos. And we got Keith Matthews here. It's been totally amazing. People are walking around right now. They don't even care. It's raining and nobody cares. Everybody just heads into the barn. What we're doing here is we've got uh, photographers and models who come out and they just love it. That um, film industry is very interested in our farm, and so expect to see some uh, television and movie productions being made right here at Riverside Farms in St. Clair, Michigan. You can get in touch with me on my website at riversidefarms-photo-op.com. You can email me directly from there, or you can email me at carla at riversidefarms-photo-op.com.